Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your reading for Thursday the 19th of December. Okay, let's see what's going on in the... Now just a reminder that this Sunday I'm doing a Facebook Live at 9am. If you want to join me, go and like the page over at the Aussie Goddess. Um, I will only be on for an hour. I do try to get around as many people as I can, but don't always get to everyone and I know that upsets people, but can only do what's humanly possible. Um, and the Moonstruck TV next week will be a recorded session because I'm taking Christmas Day off. Yay! So it'll be very nice. All right. Cards are a bit lively this morning. That's okay. We're going to use the good tarot for you what's cracking today. Um, oh, very nice. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, manifesting a happy ending. Beautiful. All right. Oh, you wanted to split funny there. Okay. It's funny because I did another reading this morning. It did exactly the same thing to me. Split funny. Okay. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming out here, folks. Things are about to take a different turn here. So sometimes when we've been waddling along for a while and everything seems a little stuck, the universe will stand in and go... Yep, time to get things moving. This is about the karma wheel. So things are going in your favour here. Um, definitely something moving in your direction. Nine of Pentacles coming in. So for some of you, this could be changes in relationships, changes in situations, could be moving to, um, you know, maybe taking up your own business here, uh, moving to a different job, but definitely something that's making you feel a little bit more, you know, wealthy on all levels, like bringing you into a better time here. And we have the Two of Cups coming in. So maybe love has come in to change some of the things around what's been going on here. Uh, maybe for some of you, this is, you know, love for child, love for family, but something's changing your status, status here. Okay, so then we have the Hermit coming in. So, okay, let's just see what's after the Hermit here. Four of Pentacles. Okay, there's some sort of letting go here. Letting go of something. Moving forward. Eight of Pentacles. Working on yourself. Okay, so what we have here is some of you here are changing your fortune here by turning yourself inwards and working on your own stuff. Now, for some of you, this is about wanting love, but this is um, something to do with a soulmate. So for some of you, you could be turning things around here to bring in a soulmate or turning things around to concentrate on yourself, bringing in the energy of self. OK, let's get some more information. So we do have the page of cups, messenger of cups coming in here. Um, this is a love offer. So something here has changed because someone's offered you something. This is very often only a message, just a touch base, something here to make you realise that you've got, you're on the right track here. Now, again, this can come down to being offered an opportunity at work or in your own business because it's changing something here. So the universe is pushing something forward for you, something that perhaps has been stuck for a while. Okay, three of wands, yet yeah, because you're moving forward. <laughs> okay, so there's a feeling here that you're being pushed in a different direction. The three of wands talks about your ships coming in, things coming to you now rather than you having to chase them. And I feel that's because you've changed your mindset here. You're not controlling, you're waiting. You're waiting patiently. And because of that, things are coming back towards you. Very interesting. Right. Two of swords coming in here. Now, this brings around choices of how to move forward. Um, you could be dealing with someone who's an air sign. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you are the one um, taking charge here. Um, and when I say taking charge, it's really about letting it be but taking charge of the situation. So allowing the situation to unwrap the way it should. But something here is bringing in a choice now. So maybe it is the choice to let go, let it be. Maybe it's the choice to start working on yourself. But there are certain things then about yourself that you're going to have to let go. 
something is sort of helping you to let go of something they want you to walk into the energy of the queen of wands so being able to be um, very self-sufficient very take on a leadership role take on the energy of leading your own path okay and we have the seven of cups you're opening options up here so you're opening opening yourself for more opportunities by doing this so by allowing the universe about investing in yourself you're you're giving yourself more opportunities to move forward very nice ace of wands coming in that's what we like to see bringing back your passion bringing back the desires so it's like working on yourself and allowing things to just open up in their own time is actually bringing to you more opportunities and more passion because you're not ha you're not expecting you're not expecting something to happen we do have the tower coming in of course we do the tower has just been amazing lately um, and this is about understanding that you've been doing things in a way that probably didn't benefit you before. A lot of self-growth here. Look at this. And then we have the card of patience, temperance, divine timing, allowing. And the four of swords at the end. So time to take time out. Okay. Let's just give this in. Very much the last few days, the readings have been very much about Understanding your personal journey, understanding what is meant for you will come to you. Um, sometimes, I mean, I have probably a little bit of a different belief to other people, um, but that's only through what I've shared with spirit and what's been shown to me. Um, because I have a strong belief that if it's on your path, it's yours. You can't go after something that isn't meant for you. Um and to allow that to come to you in its right time. I also used to always think, you know, if you, it's like the caged bird. If you set it free and it returns, then it was meant for you. So there's something about that here, about allowing yourself to be who you are, allowing yourself to accept what comes to you, but also understanding that sometimes you have to cut away from things from your life that aren't meant for you. Something here in this tower, something here with this tower is helping you to, to break back. And maybe this tower is a slow process rather than a one-off process. So I feel like for some of you here, it's the gradual process of casting off what no longer serves you. Now, for some of you, this may be about people. It may be about situations because something here, because the universe is helping here. So the whole co-creating with the universe is here. This is about helping you to become the more independent, self-sufficient person you were born to be by discarding the mask that's held you back. Two of Cups. So you're bringing in love here. You're bringing in some sort of love relationship, soulmate relationship. Could be to do with business as well. Could be that you're... Um, bringing in something here that perhaps was forgotten or you felt was lost to you because the hermit card is here and the hermit's about going inside here four of pentacles and learning to release what no longer serves you in order to bring in what is meant for you on your pathway so we have some sort of message coming in that helps you to move forward the universe is instrumental in this too because they're actually trying to get you to understand that at the moment this is about self-love, self-work, self-awareness. You're going through some sort of transition here with this tower. So this idea here of letting go and becoming what you were meant to be because that is going to allow you to release and accept what's on your path for you this is about divine timing so if some of you have been waiting for, for love waiting for something to happen waiting for some to occur what the universe is saying here by stepping back and allowing this energy and releasing what doesn't belong to you or what isn't on your path then things will start to 
things will start to unravel or unwind the way they're supposed to. This is about you leading on your own path. It's like you release and you bring in stuff. And I think people think by controlling, by hanging on, by clinging on to it, it's going to come to them. But it isn't. It's about releasing to allow it to come to you. Something about divine timing here. Something in the timing is bringing in what you want. But in order for that to happen, you've got to release the way it comes in, the way, the expectation, the attachment to the outcome. This is sort of similar to the reading we had yesterday in understanding that releasing brings in what you want. Very interesting, very challenging for some of us. We, you know, we go through life thinking that, you know, by really sort of hammering at stuff and pushing for stuff, we get what we want. But actually... What we want is there for us. We just have to allow it to come in. Okay, <laughs> so we have the card of yin here. This is very, very interesting that that card's come out. Alrighty, this is the feminine energy. Yang is the masculine. Yang is the card of action. Yin is the card of the feminine principle of receptivity. Letting someone else make the first move. Gathering information and taking in cues and it's the art of conscious allowing. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you, ready to accept it when it appears. Yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper, and you see how quickly your dreams manifest. Now, I want to read the relationship meaning as well, because this may be relationship for some of you. It says, let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you. By allowing their actions to speak about them, you will be pleasantly surprised. How beautiful that is. This is about allowing others to show you the way forward by just letting go here. Not hanging on, not clinging, not expecting an outcome, not trying to preempt the outcome, not expecting the outcome to come to you in the way you think it will. Beautiful reading. Thanks, guys.